What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful people of the Crasher community? How are you guys doing today? So, we're back with another video on the channel to discuss Pokemon Home again. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be one of them type of videos. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and if you guys enjoy videos from your boy, spice or not, sass or not, be sure to like the video and subscribe with notifications turned on. Without further ado, let's begin with this. Shout out to Dexerto for this article that is titled, Pokemon players freak out after glitch changes levels in home app. A new visual bug in the Pokemon home app made some players players' monsters look either very weak or incredibly strong. Over the past few weeks, we've seen a number of visual glitches that have popped up in Pokemon Go. This week, a new bug popped up in the Pokemon Home Companion and seemingly affected monsters directly transferred into the storage system via Go. This one doesn't have appeared to do permanent damage to any stored Pokemon, but it did change their levels for a brief period of time. On the Silk Road subreddit, one user noticed on June 15th that a bug in the Pokemon Home app affected levels of monsters inserted into the storage system. On mobile devices, some Pokemon sent from Pokemon Go are being showed to be level one. And what we have here is a post from the Silph Road subreddit. Everything transferred to home right now is level one. And as you see right here, we have a level one Mewtwo, but it doesn't end there. We have a level one Genesect and it doesn't end there. We have a level one Darkrai. What the fuck, man? And last but not least, a level one Deoxys. The Nintendo Switch version of home was also affected by this glitch. Serebii's Joe Merrick pointed out on Twitter that Pokemon from Go were being displayed to be at level 100 on the Switch. Merrick noted in a separate response that not all Pokemon transferred to home via the mobile game were affected by this glitch. And this here is the original tweet in question. Joe Merrick says, Seems there's a bug in the Go to Home transfer right now. At present, if you send a Pokemon across, then its experience is getting set way too high. This means on mobile, it's being displayed as level 1 and switch at level 100 with the last 4 moves. Oops. It'll probably get fixed soon, and what we have here showcases two images where we have ourselves Charmander at level 1, and then Charmander at level 100. As of late Thursday morning, it appears the issue has been fixed, as Pokemon transferred from Go do look to be in a normal state. Still, this bug did provide for some interesting responses. Some players did show reservations with regards to transferring Pokemon into the home app with concern about permanent damage that could happen to those affected monsters. On the other hand, several players hearkened back to the old GTS system functions that allowed users to make troll trade requests, for example, level 1 legendaries, to clog up searches in the online system. One user replied on Reddit, Home GTS scammers, count your days. Another player echoed roughly the same sentiment, adding, At last, I'm gonna be able to obtain all those level 1 to 10 dittos to trade all those GTS legendaries I saw when I was 11. Woo! This bug appeared the same day that the Element Cup in Pokemon Go went live. Individuals in need of help for the event can check out our best team guide for it. Okay, so while the issue appears to be fixed as of me shooting this video, I still find it amazing yet unsurprising that once again we have a case of Pokemon in some way, shape, and form having glitches or other forms of issues. And it seems like even after the near seven months that we waited for Pokemon Home connectivity to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Pokemon Home isn't immune to glitches. Like, what the hell? Like, if you transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home, they all appear to be level 1! Like, can you imagine a fucking level 1 Mewtwo? That is just, that's way too funny. And alternatively, when it comes to the Switch end of things, everything gets buffed up to level 100. Like... Oh my god, it's funny, but also it does still provide another example of the many things wrong with the umbrella that is Pokemon. And hey, I'm saying this not out of a place of malice or hate, I'm saying this out of a place of love 
and maybe a little bit of humor as well, because I can't help but chuckle at these issues right here, but... Honestly, Pokemon, you need to tighten up, yo. Like, Pokemon Go still is riddled with its own problems, all of which have been documented thus far on the channel, at least as far as I know. I mean, who knows what else is happening in Pokemon Go, right? But also, when it comes to main series Pokemon, such as with the issues that Scarlet and Violet have had since release, there's definitely a lot of, we'll say, rough waters when it comes to Pokemon in general, and I really, really hope that things can be smoothed over in the future. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is just my take on things. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree with anything that I've said? What are your thoughts on the topic overall? Do you find this to be comical? Do you find it to be frustrating? Either way, I would love to hear back from you amazing and beautiful people in the comments down below. With that said, that is it here for the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you guys next time.